We are in Ikaria, an island in Greece famous for being one of the only five blue zones in the entire world. Blue zones are places where the people have abnormally long life expectancies, living up to their 80s, 90s, and even 100s. Today we want to answer one question. Why do people live so long in Ikaria? I am so excited to be in Ikaria. I've read so much about blue zones and to actually be here is just like kind of insane. We're also here on off season in November and there's like no tourists here. It is all locals right now. <laughs> yeah, they're all like kind of giving us weird looks. Like, what are you doing here? <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Are you from Ikaria? Yes. Yeah. Can I ask you a few questions? Of course. Yeah. Is it true that people live here forever? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like how old? 100 years. 100 years? Yes. Are you going to live to 100 years? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> What's your name, by the way? Antonis. Antonis? Yes. I'm really. Wyatt. Wyatt. Nice to meet you. This is Rika. Why do you think people live forever? Because uh, there are stress here. No stress? Yes, and uh, good health. Who's the oldest person you know? What's going on in the few years? Who? In the few years. How old are There are one people who are uh, 102 years old, you think, here. Oh, really? Yes. Can we talk to him? Oh, Antonius is the man. Thank you. <laughs> We're going to come back and try to meet a guy that's 102 or 103 years old that goes to that fish market every day. Yes, sir. Do you, yes, speak, sir. Do you speak English? Yeah, but yeah? where are you from? USA. USA? Yeah. Is it true that people in Nicaria live a very long time? Yeah? Yeah. How long? My father is uh, 106. Your father's 106. And my mother, 96. How do you live so long here? Why do people live so long? Um, all the time, all the people here. Yeah. It's low time, slow. It's a, you know, no, Relax. No, no, no stress. No stress. Uh, no stress. Is that the key? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, every day, uh -huh. wine. My, every day wine. My, <laughs> my father, yeah. the morning, uh -huh. bread uh -huh. and wine. Uh, one. Glass. glass, yeah, wine, uh huh, um, from Micaria, uh -huh. and uh, one slice, and slice bread, uh huh, one bread, slice of bread, bread, bread. Yeah. every morning, every morning, <laughs> every morning, and he's 106, eh? wow, and he's working, and he learn working, and he's still then, working, then, uh, what do they work in the garden? Working, or? Oh, he working them for vegetables and all. Mm -hmm. Wow. There seems to be just so many, so many secrets to living a long life. One big thing is generosity and like kindness to strangers so far. Yep, and wine. <laughs> His mom and dad are 106 and 96 years old. I think that man at the uh, grocery store, I think that last thing the guy at the grocery store mentioned was super key. His dad, who's 106, not only does he drink wine and bread every morning, but he also consistently works on his vegetable garden. Consistent exercise and strain, I think, is a key to uh, this long life. But we'll see, we'll see. After talking to the Akarians, it seems that one of the main reasons they live so long is their great diet of local food and wine. So we had to try some ourselves. Hi, he likes me. Oh. Or I've... he wants my food yeah. that we're gonna get. <laughs> What's the secret to long-lasting life, Logan? Oh, they have he's climbing up. This cat is the reason people live long, because he's so friendly. <laughs> it makes people laugh. Yes, you do. Hey, yeah, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what is like the diet of Ikaria? Only oh, the fish. Fish? Fish? Yeah. Fish? yeah. Yes. <laughs> is it true that people live forever here? Yes. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think so? The, um, the water. Is... Oh, the ocean? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the water to drink water. The oh, water. the water here yes. is very yes. fresh, huh? And the air, fresh air. It's a very clean yes. place, yes. no? You get okay. good, good heart. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the vegetables and the salted cod with garlic dip. Okay. Do you have cod? Yes. Okay. Yes. What else? Is there anything else that locals yes. eat a lot? Mini pies. It's. Ikarian. Mini pies, Ikarian. Yes. yes, yes. Is that the secret? Yes, maybe. <laughs> Efkarisko. Okay, thank, thank you, you so much. Drink, to drink only water? What do locals drink? 
beer. Beer? Yeah, beer and local wine. White wine, red wine, rosé. Anything? Yeah. Anything. yeah. Anytime, even yes. though it's only 1247, it's okay? Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. All right, okay. one beer and one wine. Okay. Uh, like a beer? Yeah. White wine? White wine. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. A glass. Thank you. Rika, I'm pretty sure it's these cats. I think they're the reason. I think they're the reason too. They're so cute. I named him Boomer. He's a rascal. If you give Boomer too much attention, watch out. <laughs> it's wild just like sitting here and looking around. A lot of folks look to be in their elder years. Yeah. I would say like more than 50%. Yeah. Are I in like 60s and above. So apparently I read that people in Ikaria drink two glasses of wine per day at least to like wine down. So I'm like an Ikarian right now. Cheers. Oh, cheers. First off, this is my first beer in a long time. So it's probably gonna hit me hard. Second off, it's actually really good. It's like a lager, a local lager. This is the Ikaria Tisa beer, a local lager. It's actually really good. It's super smooth and it's not like a syrupy heavy, you know? I got a white wine. It's basically just like a Chardonnay. <laughs> I love already how peaceful, relaxed, and like smiley the locals are. You can totally feel the good, happy island vibes already, you know? 100%. And everyone's just like knows everyone kind of. Uh -huh. and, like they're just chatting with each other like friends. The essence of Acaria in one bottle. Look, you got the essence of Acaria in one bottle. We, the vlog can be done. Yeah, we're set. All right, see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> so one factor that is said to lead to a long-lasting life here in the Blue Zone is a good diet. They don't count their calories here. They just have a bunch of locally sourced organic food. So like vegetables and fish and also goat, but it's out of season currently. So that's not on the menu for us today. I got cod which I'm so excited, with garlic sauce and a bunch of grilled veggies. We also got these uh, local Acarian mini pies with spinach inside. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna try the cod. That is so good. It's so fresh. It tastes like it just came out of the sea. So good. Crunchy, outer layer, tender, inner layer, and the garlic is such a nice touch. I'm so excited. I'm gonna try these vegetables. They're all grilled up. So excited. Looks like there's mushrooms, cucumber, drizzled with some sort of balsamic on top. Oh, it smells like heaven. Mm. Mm. If people eat this every day, I'm not surprised they live forever. That's so good. And it's just seasoned amazingly. Maybe we'll live a couple years longer mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we've eaten it. So these are Akarian mini pies. Honestly, looks like a little egg roll that's tied up at the end. And I believe it's stuffed with spinach. You can see a little bit poking out there. Ah. That's another very fresh food. It's just so good. It has a bunch of steamed spinach, which is just like so good for you. And then just coated in breading. Tastes amazing. I think these are the best veggies I've ever had. Hey there, Boomer. Watch us. <laughs> now we've eaten like a Karians. We're gonna get out of here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, us. Yeah. Backgammon. Family. <laughs> Do you speak English? No? No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so those guys didn't speak English, but they were playing a game and it made me think that maybe keeping your mind active is a whole other way to live a long-lasting life. Maybe riding a motorcycle allows you to stay young for years to come. <laughs> Excuse me, do you speak English? No? Yes, English. yes you speak? Is it true that people live here very long lives? It's scientifically approved. It's not only words that somebody lives 100 years old. Mm -hmm. They were scientists and they proved that we are blue zone. 
Wow. That's crazy. Do you mind me asking how old you two are? My husband is 83 and I'm 78. Who is the oldest person you know? They are people that they, they live 110, 109, 105. Wow, and why do you think people live long lives? Is a way of life at the, um, the hot springs. Mm -hmm. We know that the hot springs here, they are miraculous, it's radium. Yeah. And also the, the way of life, people, they don't, they don't care about so much uh, uh, money and things like that. It's a, yeah. it's a, a way of life more, more calm, let's say. And why, why do you think people live, like what is the lifestyle on Ikaria? That people swim all the time. Swim? And then, yeah, and the winter and the summer, spring. Swimming? All right, yeah. so staying active and swimming. Yeah. I love that one. It was clear from our new Ikarian friends that the next two tasks on our live long checklist had to be the hot springs and swimming in the ocean. So the next day we rented a car and we're off. Let's go explore Ikaria. Straight up reverse just doesn't work. Can't figure out how to get the car in reverse, so trying to figure that out now. She's gonna show me. Down. Oh. Down. Down. Okay, I went down. Down. And. Okay. Okay. F Caristo. Thank You're you. Welcome. Scratch that. Now we were off on a road trip across Acaria. Wyatt came here on his run the other day, so we know where it is, but we have to walk along this rocky beach path to get there. We're gonna try to get in. Where should we get in? Like off to the side a bit? Yeah. I don't know how warm it is actually. Oh, it's just like lukewarm here. The weird thing about this is like the hot spring mixes with the ocean, so we're gonna have to find the perfect balance. Okay, testing the water right here. Oh, that is like hot tub weather or temperature. Really? Yeah. I don't know how much you guys can see, but isn't it crazy? These rocks right here are all red, like scarlet. Must be the sulfur, I don't know. If you're a geologist and know why, Oh, and like lime green, that's crazy. If you're a geologist and know why um, that is, let us know. Oh, whoa, it's kind of slippery. Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, it's hot. Woo, Isn't baby. Isn't it really hot? How's yeah. that feel? It's a little hot. But you like get used to it, you know? It's yeah. like a hot tub. Ooh, 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 ooh. Here comes the cold wave, here comes the cold. It's literally just like a hot tub. It's nice. This Man. is really relaxing, everybody. No wonder they do this. We were talking yesterday, like how do people stay so relaxed here? And I feel like this might be one of the reasons. If they're chilling in natural hot tubs in the ocean all the time, like that can't hurt, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ooh, that's warm. I've always wanted to go into a hot spring. <laughs> you don't like the slimy rocks? <laughs> no. Maybe we should just move to Ikaria. Yeah, probably live long. Man, after this, I really just don't want to leave Ikaria. Like I get why they live forever. It's just because they're so relaxed. They have all these different relaxing stimulants. So I guess the bottom line is, wherever you are or whatever you're doing, try to relax more. It's hard. If you have a natural hot spring in your house, that'll help. <laughs> I do feel relaxed now, for sure. I'm just gonna stay here all day. <laughs> now the long journey back ahead of us. All right, we have some local Ikarian guests here. Excuse me, why does everyone live so long? 
I think it's just because they wiggle their tails like that. That's what he's saying. Yep. Yeah. So if we shake our booties, I think that'll do it. Alrighty, so we're in the tiny town of Camios. It's so fun to come to these little towns. It's just cool to think about growing up here. I know, and just like being around the people, it's great. Yeah, the stories that people have. All right, we're thinking this is a restaurant, but we don't know. And we hope they take a card. <laughs> no, we did it at the same time. Look at all this. Look at all this food. Greek nice. feast. This looks so good, my mouth is watering. Someone was a little hangry too earlier. Two people were hangry. Yeah, we were both hangry. Uh -huh. All right, <laughs> let's feast. So good, guys. Yummy. And they ended the delicious meal with oranges for dessert. How sweet. See you guys later. <laughs> Bye, thank, thank you. So you. Much. Friendly locals, let's go to the beach. that getting in the ocean and swimming is another thing that helps people live longer. And I asked him, pool? He said, no, ocean. So we're gonna go swim <laughs> in the ocean. <laughs> we have this beach all to ourselves. Yeah, it's beautiful. Let's go swim. Are you going in? I'm dipping in. Woo! Oh, it's warm. It's kind of chilly. Wow, it is clear, isn't it? It's so clear. That is crazy, guys. Wow, beautiful. Got my trusty goggles on. That kind of hurt. It's so clear. I know. One big thing people have said is that the water and air here is super clean and you can see that in this water. That water, guys, is crazy. The cleanest, the clearest water we have ever seen. And we have seen some amazing beaches, don't get me wrong, that were also beautiful, clear. But like, it seems like it has been untouched by humans, like seriously. And it probably, for the most part, like other than the very few Akarians that are here and swim, like, has been untouched. So, it's so cool. He getting his exercise just like the Akarians do. Alrighty, heading back to the car, which I don't know if you can see it. it should be up. It's up there. Up there. And I got some cool rocks, guys. Look. When you're on vacation, do you get cool rocks too in the beach and shells? Because that's what I do. Rika's been developing a collection because we've been going to so many beaches. Let's go! Let's go! Woo! I really hope our brakes work. <laughs> Got a lot of down. But like that you know. Let's go meet a uh, centurion. That's what you call him, right? I feel like we're gonna go meet someone that's like really important and famous. Boomer's literally your like guard cat. <laughs> Boomer's probably the best cat we've seen so far. Yeah, he's the most loyal. Very loyal, isn't he? Do you think he has fleas? I think he has fleas? <laughs> Never had a cat choose me this hard before. He's your new best friend. Oh, he's protective. He doesn't want the other cat. Changed your clothes because of Boomer? Yeah. He was a hairy boy, wasn't he? Yeah. People really are friendly here. I was kind of like, oh man, maybe people won't want to talk to tourists. Like everyone wants to talk to us. Maybe that's another secret, just like being kind and being open and just relaxed and willing to talk to people, you know? Yeah. yeah. 100. People. Which guy? Right close? Ah, okay. He's 103. Just us. Can you ask him, can we ask him some questions? 
Yes, yes, yes. So, how can you ask him how old is he? He is 103. He's 103? Uh, November, he's turning 104. And the 27th. Wow, well, happy, happy early birthday. birthday. <laughs> he's walking well. Uh huh. Uh huh. His brain is working hard. Yeah? Oh, oh with hearing? Cigi. Cigi? Wife. His wife. Oh, his wife. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> Mr. Nick. 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 Nice. Nick. Nice to meet you. Hello. Yasas. Ikaria is good. Ikaria? <laughs> yeah? Books. A author. Here? Oh, he was an author? You were an author? Ah. He wrote, he wrote Really? Are you all from Agios Kirkios? Mm. You're all from here? From here? From here. And what's your name? Billy Zinakis. Billy Zinakis. Well, nice to meet you. Nick Karimalis. Nick Karimalis. Garufayo Karimalis. This is the island. Oh, I passed. Yeah, I passed. All the planet. It's the island. All the planet. This is the island called the island of long living. Yeah. Blue zone. Living. Blue zone. Why do you Blue think zone. so? Why do you think people live long? Well, because people here are happy. Mm. People here are uh, without uh, stress. Yes, stress. Mm, very relaxed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> very relaxed. That's, yeah. That's the key. Yes, yeah. That's the key. How do you stay so Everybody relaxed? Everybody is smiling. Yeah. They, they want the other guy to be smiling. Yeah. yeah, he will tell you. I come. I will come tomorrow. Uh -huh. Papua America. That doesn't mean it's going to come. The only sure thing is that he's going to come today. So time doesn't mean anything. <laughs> if you look around, nobody hears a walk. Oh, true. Yeah. Why rush? Can we? Can you ask Nick what his secret? To long life is. How do you, can you ask him in Greek? Nico, le pio ne to mistikot is makrozoias. Makrozligo for that. What did he say? Eat, eat, lightly. eat what? Lightly. Eat lightly. Not too much. Not too much. <laughs> I always eat so much that might be an issue. <laughs> and how old are you both, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 86. 86. Wow, you you look young for 86. I'm 25. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. Uh -huh. No! I miss the Napurgesi. The best food is not to worry. How do you not have worries? Write a list. Write a list? It's not possible. Uh huh. That's it. Right. It is possible. It is possible. When you worry about something, does it get better? When you worry? Not really. <laughs> Don't worry about things you cannot help. Mm. Mm. How old does Nico want to live to? What is his goal? Nico, what's a chronia lay tennis in a zisu sacoma? I'm done a zisu. Forever. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's well on his way. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah? You better listen to this. She says, she's a nice girl. <laughs> she's a nice girl. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you tell him she is mine. <laughs> Can you tell that him was she the is nicest blushing? compliment. The nice couple. Efcaristo. Efcaristo. Lovely, lovely. lovely oh, yeah? Lovely couple. You are all lovely people. <laughs> Orea trope. Orea trope. Orea trope. Orea trope. Orea trope. What did she say? Thank what did she say? You. It's it's something you, you can take it from here, from my career. Mm -hmm. The island of long living. And say to everybody there in the United States, in your place, wherever you go, uh -huh. say to everybody, this. Smile and only smile. <laughs> He's curious about a camera. Yasas. Bye bye. Thank you. 
so cool. I think that was one of my favorite parts of the, our Greece trip. The 103 year old man was flirting with you a little bit. <laughs> Best compliment ever. Yeah. <laughs> of all the people I'd be fine with flirting with my partner, a 103 year old man from Greece. I think that's okay. <laughs> he's lived a long life. Yeah, he's earned it. <laughs> wow, we feel so lucky that they were, wanted to talk to us. They were just so kind and welcoming and they had no worries. Mm. They, they all had such a warm sense of humor. Yeah. You know, so honored. That's the first person of over 100 I've ever met. Probably you two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Reflecting back on our talk with Nick and his friends, along with the entire trip to Akaria, I am realizing that while there are obviously many factors that probably lead to a long-lasting life, the one that really sticks out to me and all the people of Akaria is the inexistence of stress and anxiety that seem to affect a lot of people elsewhere, including myself and Wyatt. This is a great lesson to all of us to not worry so much about the future, because as the Akarians say, worry is definitely not going to make things better. We hope you enjoyed this experience as much as we did. Make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more.